we're the first Iranian generation that has no living memory of our pre-revolutionary nation. Early Gen Xers kind of do, but a lot of them were too young to remember it in detail. But the reason that boomer monarchists, is part of the diaspora, keep saying that we should reinstate the monarchy and bring back the Pahlavis is because that's their era. That's the government and the state that they grew up in and recognize. We, on the other hand, have only seen an Iran under the Islamic Republic. Most of the information that we have about the pre-revolutionary country is through our parents' word for it, and the vast majority of them likely aren't telling us the truth or giving us an accurate impression, if not flat-out revisioning the entire era. It's been four decades now, and that generation is well on its way to becoming fossilized for good. A lot of us get our opinions about the history and situation of the country and of the culture and so on and so forth exclusively from our parents as if there's no generational gap. Most diaspora people don't know enough about Iran or their heritage to judge whether we can trust what they say or not. So we take what they say at face value, but since most diaspora people aren't religiously or ethnically inclined or take Islam seriously, they're likely to accept the narratives of the pre-revolutionary era generally being better. Little do we know, they don't tell us that they're the ones that made the revolution happen to begin with that they're the ones that went on the streets and brought about the downfall of the monarchy and that we live in the new society, the new culture, the new community that they created. And this is where I end my dissertation. Thank you for watching.